This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, Kanye West looks spooky at this fashion show, and his wife is starting to look spooky. Like, it's like that's like his little doll that he dresses up, but Kanye is needed, right? So it's like it is what it is, but it's just, bro, it's weird. Now, Sneeko went on uh, his channel. And was, you know, begging Kanye for a sit down, right? Now, uh, Sneeko is one of these people that, like, they just, like, he uses people and pushes them to the side. Like, he used Andrew Tate for a while, pushed him to the side. You know, it's just, I don't know, man. Sneeko's a weird person. He's always trying to be around something to keep his brand going. And he's doing well, but it's just like he really abandoned a lot of people at one point. And someone like that, eh, you can't really trust somebody like that. I don't know if Kanye would want to sit down with Sneeko. Um, I don't think he has a big enough platform either. Then we got Sexy Red dropping Trash Song, man. Then she's like, I don't need a rap. I got good P-U-S-S-Y. Whenever a girl claims that they have good P-U-S-S-Y, you probably know the box is trash. Let's just be honest. No offense to any women out there, but it's like, you don't need to uh, advertise, you know? Like, why, why are you out here advertising like that? Now you've put um, a high standard on yourself. It's like a guy going around saying he has the best D, pause, you know? It's like you put it at a certain level there, you know? Why you even have to talk about it? Benzino says Tupac's Loyal to the Game album was trash uh, because it was produced by Eminem. Now, Benzino is doing a slew of interviews now talking about Eminem. He's been obsessed with Eminem for 20-something years, and Dave Mays highlighted this in a couple interviews that this was all because Benzino was jealous of the 8 Mile movie. Um, and he just started digging and digging. Uh, Benzino has a real problem with himself as well. I mean, he's always in police footage. There's like five or six police footages of him getting arrested for little misdemeanors, left and right, to, you know, stalking an ex, having problems with his baby mind. Like, he can't seem to get along with anybody. The guy's very, very spooky, bro. Like, Benzino needs to... You could say grow up, but he's almost six, he's two years from 60, bro. I don't think this guy's ever going to, like, grow up. He's like, my people, man, my people. Nobody gives back. I give back. Bro, you don't really give back like that. Like, what? I don't know. Yo Gotti. Um, Yo Gotti details that 50 Cent once told him to change his name from Cocaine Music to Collective Music Group to make uh, more people want to mess with you. Uh, that's Cap. Uh, Yo Gotti's wanted to do that since 2009. You know, uh, he didn't want to do the standing in the kitchen video that we did because, you know, it was. He's like, I don't know. There's just too much drug dealing in the video. It's like, bro, the name of your label is Cocaine Music Group, bro. Now it it probably was a smart move or just title it CMG, but and and it doesn't have to say anything, but. You know, people don't don't want to necessarily do business with someone named Cocaine Music Group. And this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Peace.